Rafa, were you glad that you closed it out in straight sets? Uh, happy to win. Doesn't matter how many sets, uh, but uh, I'm happy, of course, to be in the quarterfinals of this <laughs> great tournament and uh, playing better, without a doubt. No, was my best match of the tournament. Uh, happy the way that I, I was able to to play uh, during the whole match. I only played one one bad game with my serve. For the rest, I think I played solid. Uh, and I did what I had to do against uh, uh, a very difficult player to play like Le Reilly. Uh, questions, please remember name and affiliations for everyone. Raise your hand, anybody? Rafa Craig Gabriel from Australia. I mean, um, next round, Nick again. What are your thoughts going in? You've got a 5-3 record against him, beat him the last two times you played him. So what are your thoughts going into facing him here on these conditions? Well, uh, Nick is difficult in any conditions. No? Um, when, when he's playing well and uh, when he's uh, excited and motivated, uh, he's one of the toughest opponents, uh, without a doubt. No? So tomorrow going to be a, a tough match, but we are in quarterfinals of Indian Wells, no? Master 1000. Um, we can't expect uh, another thing. No? I, uh, I, I have to expect a very tough opponent in front, no? and tomorrow going to be. And I hope to be ready for, for it. I need to play well. And uh, let's see if I'm able to make that happen, hopefully. Great. Chris Clary in New York Times. Rafa, I'm sure we'll get, we'll get back to the match, but I wanted to ask you, did you hear about Roland Garros and their decision about tiebreakers in the fifth set? I read today in the morning. Uh, uh, How do you feel about that? And I guess that means there'll never be any more marathon final sets in the... Uh, Grand slams. Well, I, I don't care much, honestly. Uh, but uh, I, I honestly don't have a clear opinion. Uh, I am not in favor or not against. I, I think this that's what they decided. And uh, happy with it or not, I don't care. <laughs> honestly, I don't think going to make a big difference. But I, I, I read that everyone going to be the same. Uh, in some way, that's that's positive. I don't think in Roland Garros makes a big impact. Uh, my opinion, the biggest impact going to be in Wimbledon. I think that sometimes uh, it's so difficult to break, so, so then the, the matches become uh, very long. So, uh, but I, I don't feel that uh, for Roland Garros uh, change a lot. Okay, yes, can be a few more games, but uh, I don't feel that in Roland Garros you're going to go normally 22-20. You know, than in Wimbledon. It, that can happen. You were very surprised early in the year um, that you were playing so well and having such, such success. Are you still surprised that you keep winning and winning and winning? Well, the, 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 the human uh, mentality, you get used to the good things. But, <laughs> but the, the, for me, I, I, I am not that kind of guy that thinks a lot about what happened or, or, or I just try to in terms of sports you know uh, just try to 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 keep going and uh, and that's how this sport this sport is in my opinion no you don't have a lot of time to 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 be very sad with the dif with the losers and you don't have a lot of time for celebrations when you are winning no but of course <laughs> for me it's Super surprising to uh, be in the position that I am, uh, winning uh, three titles already and being quarterfinals here in Indian Wells. No, I can't say it's a dream because uh, I even couldn't dream about that three months ago no, or two months ago. So, yeah, uh, things are going that way. So the only thing that I can say is uh, thanks to, to everybody who helps, everybody who supports me around the world, and uh, thanks to life for this uh, incredible opportunity that I am having, uh, and I am just uh, enjoying uh, every single moment. Bill Simons, Inside Tennis. Um, on this incredible streak this year, uh, it hasn't been easy. There have been many times when you've been really down or have had to fight. Including, including today. Just talk about the process of problem solving out there. When you're when you're down or have facing a break point, do you try and stay stay calm? Do you face focus on the tactics? What's what goes through your head? 
well, today I, I had uh, one red point that I lost. I played terrible. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I just feel that uh, it's important, in my opinion, to know yourself, uh, to know what's the things that you have more control about uh, and in the pressure moments play with this uh, with these shots that uh, you feel more confident now so uh, um, in terms of holding the pressure uh, there is uh, different facts that helps uh, first is the confidence uh, depending on the momentum of course you play better the important moments are worse because uh, that's uh, when you are confident, when you are winning matches, you feel more relaxed and uh, it's easier to play uh, in some way that, that moment. No? And another thing is uh, it's about practice. And uh, during all my life, I practiced with very high intensity. And uh, I, I take it every single practice like a, like a professional match. So I put myself uh, in, in that position almost every single day for, of my life since I was a kid. So that helps to, to hold these kind of moments better. Joel, and then yeah. Joel Drucker, tennis.com. Uh, seven, six, seven, six today. How do you go about managing tiebreakers against someone as uh, explosive and big serving as, as Riley? I, I, I mean, it's, it's. I, I can tell you, uh, I can create a story, but uh, honestly, I, I don't have a, a secret or, or thing that uh, that I am sure that can work. No, I just, uh, I can tell you what what I tried, and what I tried is uh, to to don't help him to play from good positions, uh, especially when I am serving. So uh, I try to, to play with high percentage of first serves, especially in the tie breaks, because then if you start to miss first serves, you open the door for him to go for a, for a big return. So he's, he's not in your hands anymore. And, uh, and then uh, try to, to put balls in on the return uh, and uh, find the right balance between not playing too aggressive because then you have risk of mistakes and not playing too defensive because uh, you know that he, he has a great forehand and uh, he's gonna he gonna go for the for the wheel and also playing against a player like him it's about finding trying to find the, the balance between taking risks and playing uh, enough aggressive uh, without taking a lot of risk to don't uh, allow him to play from comfortable positions. I, I think I, my, my English was not perfect there, but <laughs> uh, I tried to explain. No, it's about, I'm going to repeat because I make a mistake. It's, it's about trying to hit balls that you don't take a lot of risks, but at the same time, don't allow him to go in uh, and go for the shots. So he's trying to find a the right balance between these two things. Last one, Eli. I think now was better. <laughs> Hi. Rafa, over here. Uh, Eileen Elliott from the LA Times. Um, just curious, were you in pain out there? Are you in pain when you're playing your matches? Uh, sometimes, yeah. How about today? So, so for a moment, it's good. Uh, then uh, at the second set, a little bit worse. Being honest, oh, no, that's that's the thing. I felt a little bit my foot on the on the second on the second set, but. Uh, I was able to keep going uh, and uh, keep running to, till the end. No? So that's the main thing for me. But yes, uh, being honest, I, I can't. I am not in the moment to lie <laughs> uh, or to, to hide things. No, I am just uh, very happy to, to, to be playing tennis. Uh, and today was a little bit worse than, than other days. It's true that the last um, couple of days, uh, the foot had been bothering me a little bit more. Something that uh, can happen, uh, we know that, and just uh, try to be ready and to stay positive because uh, it's going to be my last tournament on, on hard. After we're going to go back to, to clay, that probably helps a little bit more. And um, I will need to do the last uh, effort to try to, to do it as good as possible here, and hopefully the, the foot can, can keep holding and 
right. I'm not thinking about the foot uh, much. I'm just thinking about the, the my tennis and my next opponent. No, then if something happens, was when it took set, and that's it. Thank you.